Beneath the shimmering waves of Earth's ancient seas, a realm of wonder and terror lay hidden. In this forgotten world, colossal beings reigned supreme, lurking in the depths, waiting to be uncovered. Prepare to be astonished as we unveil these ancient Leviathans, the true giants of the deep, whose stories have been hidden beneath the sands of time. On number 4 we have Ichthyosaur. Some 252 million years ago, a major extinction catastrophe occurred. Many different kinds of animals, plants, and other creatures vanished as a result of this incident. In actuality, this led to the extinction of 70% of terrestrial species and 90% of ocean species. The few remaining species changed throughout time to become more adapted to the shifting environmental circumstances. The ichthyosaur is one species that managed to survive. It was once a terrestrial animal that evolved to dwell in the water. The Greek word ichthyosaur means fish lizard. They had a tail and paddle-like appendages that allowed them to move and navigate, giving them a fish-like look. Despite being typically about 10 feet long, certain ichthyosaurs may have been as long as 40 feet, according to specific relics. At the margin of continents, certain species lived and hunted in coastal seas, while others, far from shore, swam in the broad ocean. Similar to modern whales and porpoises, they hatched their young in the ocean. Since they were useless on land, ichthyosaurs would be defenseless if they were stuck there. On number 3 we have plesiosaur. Nemesis of the ichthyosaur said, Carnivorous reptiles, plesiosaurs were huge in size. Hypothesized to feed on ichthyosaurs, their name means near to lizards in Greek, and they usually possessed short tails, flippers, and large bodies. But it was their enormous neck that set them apart. When paleontologists first put their fossils together, in fact, they confused their short tails with their lengthy necks, orienting their cranium incorrectly. Indeed, their necks were so large that they typically made up more than half of its 40 feet in length. Its body allowed it to swim by just flapping its fins in the water. This made it seem to float while underwater, much as modern sea lions do. It is believed that the plesiosaur ate by swaying its head back and forth among schools of fish. It uses its long, keen fangs to seize prey. On number two, we have Megalodon. The Megalodon was a hideous sight, like something from a terrible monster movie. The size of a bus and its weight, roughly 70 tons, are equivalent to that of 10 elephants. In contrast, the great white shark seems to be a clownfish when compared to the Megalodon. Its name means Big Tooth, since its teeth were the longest known shark at nearly 7 inches. Being in the water with the Megalodon would not be a good idea. Having massive jaws and teeth that could slice whales in two, it consumed fish and dolphins, making it the greatest predator of its era. In cases when it was really hungry, it would even nibble on other sharks. The sheer quantity of fossilized teeth discovered on the ocean bottom provides proof that these terrifying animals were once in feeding frenzy. They have been found on all continents except Antarctica. This is because sharks constantly grow new teeth throughout their lifetimes. Hence, a megalodon and other shark species may have up to 40,000 teeth in its lifespan depending on what they consume. Even so, these enormous predators used to dominate the seas. It seemed that nature itself was the only thing able to resist them. Global cooling began on the Earth around 2.6 million years ago. The once dominant species was wiped out by this temperature change because they could thrive in tropical seas. We have Basilosaurus at number one. Despite having a reptilian appearance, the Basilosaurus was essentially a whale, a large one at that. They were terrifying fang-toothed creatures, between 50 and 80 feet long. 35 to 40 million years ago, it existed, preying on creatures that other predators of the day deemed to be too large. This effectively illustrates the true size of this beast. That being said, even though the Basilosaurus is regarded as one of the largest predators in the water, research showed that its range of motion was quite limited. Its muscles were comparatively weak, hence it was unable to swim or dive for long. This implies that it most likely hunted and swam in waters close to the surface. Not only did they not have a collocation, but neither did whales of today. This is the time when creatures communicate with their surroundings. They hear the echoes of calls that are being returned by nearby objects. As we resurface from our deep dive into the mesmerizing world of underwater dinosaurs, we hope you've enjoyed this journey through the ancient seas. If you've been as captivated by these oceanic giants as we have, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for more prehistoric adventures.